Brown tapping over to Gerdakis. Gerdakis in front. Oh. Brown fires and scores. Eric Brown with the goal, his team leading 14th, and the Tigers lead one to nothing. Kept that puck alive, getting battles. Gerdakis keeps that puck alive, head up. I love what I saw in that whole sequence there. And here's an opportunity. French charging in. French cross ice feed and a quick wow. goal. French to Debian. Second goal this weekend for Debian, and just like that on the two on one, it's one one. Another odd man rush. We saw it last night again happen. And this time they're able to get the odd man rush. Great pass, look at French. Pinch, pinch, and then there's the pass. Logan will hand it back to Vallette. Vallette getting harassed as Callen. Vallette will give it up. Callen taking it in. Callen, the backhander and a goal. Got a feel for Brody Vallette on that one. Just lost his footing. It's now two to one. He did, and they really applied pressure. Pressured Vallette, the freshman. That's Callen. Vallette gives up the puck. You see that? Just took it right away from Callen, able to force Vallette to lose his footing. And then, then it kind of splits a couple of Tigers there. Oh, that's, that's a backbreaker there. Yeah, yeah. And there is the, oh, another backbreaker, Debian. And maybe this team is thinking about this. And I'm wondering if Wayne Wilson will call timeout here. Three to one quickly, this escalates. And uh, now with 15.51 remaining, second tonight for Debian. It's like the life has been sucked out of them. Let's see if they can uh, dig down here and find a goal. Peacock. Peacock, the wrap around. Jordan Peacock. Right on cue, Johnny Nostradamus. He's been playing well. You know what I'm impressed with? His, his puck handling is better, is getting better. He, you know, he's not the most nifty skater, but he gets it done for a big frame. That's a big time goal. Watch this. Just kind of just glides in there, got to use that big frame, and then they're back to the or, or, or to the puck. That's a defensive collapse on the part of Bentley, but there's Peacock. Say, wait a minute here. I thought Schmidt made the extra pass. Too many passes. Jay go cross ice feed yeah. to Schmidt, and we're tied. So Schmidt back door, and we have a Bentley lead at four to three. A power play goal against RIT. Not much he could do. He snuck in behind McKay, but they only got three players out there. He set up real well. Got his head up. We've seen the RIT do this to opponents. And here comes Schmidt, comes crashing in. Problem for RIT, there was only 20 seconds remaining yeah. in the first minor. And the, the power play on the second one going to Holland, still a minute 19 remaining. Uh, the Tigers have tightened it up to four defensemen here in this third period. Shot goes off the side, and then oh. put back in! Davian with the hat trick for the Bentley Falcons on the rebound. They couldn't get to the puck, clear it. Can't tell if Mike couldn't reach it with his glove. Or with his stick. Kind of just sat there. Let's see here again. They keep the puck in the zone, Gino. They're going to dump it in off the boards. Oh, look at that. Off the post. Off, off the post, and then nobody could get to it. Puck coming to the near side. Bentley just looking for a clear as Schmidt going the length of the ice, and that does it. Second tonight for Ryan Schmidt, 6 to 3 with 49 seconds for men. Nope. It's unfortunate. Tigers now need to regroup quickly. We got a big task ahead next weekend. They travel down to Pittsburgh, take on a very good Robert Morris team.